Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to CGL Week 6. We have Simp Nation versus Danny DeFito, and man, I am excited for this matchup. This is going to be in the Tier 4 North American Xbox division, um, and man, uh, it's going to be a crazy match so far. First map up, we do have Ilios, and uh, we have some cool bands this week as well as some uh, cool people playing, so Octavian, why don't you walk me through some of the uh, bands. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am joined by Octavian, as always. Who else? Uh, the one, the, the only. <laughs> um, but Octavian, why don't you, uh, why don't you walk us through uh, the bands this week, as well as maybe some players we can highlight going into this matchup? Yeah, for sure, for sure. As far as hero bands we have this week, we have Echo, Moira, Aressa, and Tracer all getting that fat band hammer. So if you play those characters, sorry, wait next week for them to come back into rotation, hopefully. As far as any kind of key matchups are concerned, on Simp Nation, there are a couple new pickups here because the roster changes were just solidified and, and the cutoff was like, I believe last Sunday. So I was talking to the captain for Simp Nation and he was saying, hey, take a look at Keeperco and then also uh, Mocha Leopard 14. Apparently those are two new new pickups here. So you have a tank and also a support lineup and they are hungry. They want to show what they got. They have the gusto, if you will. Uh, as far as Danny DeFito is concerned, I'm hearing that Major Nova here on the tank is going to have an absolute bang on game. Apparently he's dope, lights out. And then also their DPS duo as well is going to be really, really good. So, Henri, for this first map here on Ilios, what do you think is going to happen here? Kind of comps, walk me through uh, Well, I mean, you know, especially considering this week's bans, uh, I think a lot of Ryan Zarya is what we're going to see, especially on Ruins here, which is going to be our, uh, mm -hmm. our first map um, of Ilios. And, man, we love to see the Ryan Zarya. We love to see, you know, maybe that May Reaper coming out, them walling off those tanks, playing really aggressive, maybe with the Lucio speed boost, getting that Reaper in and dealing some crazy amounts of damage. But, um... I mean, it looks like so far Simp Nation uh, maybe running more of a pharmacy composition here. What do you think about that? You know, I do like the pharmacy composition. I mean, you can get a lot of really good combinations going on if you have, again, that barrage and also Graviton Search here between Kyo and then also Proxy US. So if they can hook up with those massive combos, it's going to be lights out. No matter how much you have going through, I think it's going to be lights out. But I like the dive composition coming out here from Danny DeFito. Looking really good. I love that. Absolutely love it. And man, uh, you, you know, there's a certain amount of confidence you have to have when you're running that dive composition. You know, you have to be confident with your teammates, confident that you can make the right callouts and the right decisions. And right off the bat, Venom Andrew getting a nice pick for Danny DeFito. Mm -hmm. And I love this rotation here, at least from Danny DeFito. They are on the point. They are making their presence known. A lot of damage is coming through the shell point. And I'm just looking at Johan 2 down here, just doing a great job with that tickle cannon, trying to get the quick early figure on the McCree. It doesn't really happen as Cast Nubula, Nebula, is able to get out of harm's way. So great job again with Cast Nubula getting out of harm's way on Sip Nation. But again, there's just way too much damage coming here on the side of Danny DeFito. Andrew, ne again, Andrew comes through with another big pick here on Cast Nubula and a return pick here on, on, on Venom Nubula. A one with another pick here, so it looks like, at least for the time being, Zip Nation is up on the kill feed, and it's really, really good to go their way. They need this to happen, and it looks like there's again, picks coming back and forth. Both teams are just fighting for, for viability, but again, right now, Zip Nation is just rolling, and they are lighting up this kill feed, Henry. And man, uh, I mean, Danny DeFito so far, they're still holding on to this a bit, and being able to cap that point without pretty much a team fight early on really gave them a nice advantage here, and Venom Andrew once again popping off on that Widow, getting the picks mm. that Danny DeFito needs, but... As I was saying, having that early percentage, you know, uh, even without forcing that team fight, is so crucial because it meant that they, even though they lost that team fight, they had a, you know, a, a free team fight in the beginning, uh, to, to be honest. There we go, and I love the picks coming out here as Ned was able to get a quick picture on Zen. A huge here, uh, engagement here coming in here. As the Winston comes in, Diva Bomb is popped. Is he going to be able to connect here? Doesn't connect, but it does zone out a lot of people here for Zen Nation. And we do see a huge Gravitron search as it picks up a few there. We see the pitch is coming down left and right here for the Zen Nation. Again, their ticker on the progression feed is just going up and up and up. What are you doing right now, Honor, if you are Danny DeFito? Any swaps or changes? Are you are, are you comfortable with what's going well, on? Well, you know, I mean, I mean that dive composition, I can't really blame them because, you know, that grav was popped to counter, you know, Johan's, uh, uh, or I guess, you, yeah, Johan's uh, primal rage. You know, he went in there, got grabbed pretty much immediately and was kind of melted. 
uh, by that McCree from Kaz. So I, I, I don't really blame them for that fight, but I'd definitely be thinking about swapping up that dive composition. <laughs> Oh, and that's unfortunate. I went first person E here on Zen. He went up into just Doomfist, came down, but he didn't connect, unfortunately. He hit one of these pillars, and that's obviously terrible, though, if you're trying to get the picks. But again, Sip Nation coming through, and they are just rolling at the moment. Again, we see Danny Vito. They are you know, frantically trying to get down to the point here, but they need to get back and recontest this point if they want to at least take it back over. Right now, you're in about one fight territory, two fight team, if you're lucky right now, Honor. And man, I'd I, I just like to highlight here uh, Kyoka on that Zarya. Absolutely killing it, maintaining that high charge, and he almost has another grab. He's at 96% for this last fight. Kaz getting a very good pick on Venom Andrew before this fight even starts, and Simp Nation might be able to take this one very decisively. <laughs> It looks like it was fairly decisively. I mean, we're coming up here on 100%, and right there, kind of the tail of the tape, it looked as if things were going in the way of Danny DeFito, but then Sip Nation just took that bad boy back, and first map goes to Sip Nation. Good job, guys. Or at least the first map of Abelios, anyway, sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, incredible stuff from Simp Nation. I'm going to be honest, you know, going into this game, definitely looking like the underdogs, especially with Danny DeFito's record of the 5-0, but... I think sticking to their guns, playing that Farmercy, and, and sticking with the Ryan Zarya here. We saw Danny DeVito go to that dive composition, which we don't really see too often, especially with these bands. Um, a mm -hmm. lot of teams favor that Ryan Zarya, and I think that's what really won Simp Nation it out in the end. You know, running that Ryan Zarya that they're comfortable with, sticking with that Farmercy. There wasn't a lot of contest from Danny DeVito except for Venom Andrew, but when he was dove, or uh, excuse me, when he was taken out, uh, he didn't really have much say in the fight. Mm -hmm. I love that there's no Symmetra. I mean, that is a good pick, but we see great job here, at least from Danny DeFito getting to the point first here. Nice rotation, getting inside this point, wanting to at least bait in Sid Nation, and their presence is being known, and these cameras going back and forth. Yo coming in here, huge pick, so but a nice return pick here on Kipio. As he goes down here, unfortunately, main Reinhardt, you are in some trouble, and you are without a huge pick. The AK does get picked up here from Mocha, trying to at least get some sustainability going in here. They get Cass doing an absolute bang on bonker job here, as he is just carrying this bad boy home he's been the man of the hour so far again just clicking heads looking for targets and he did a great job here snowballing out getting defeat and man uh you know l l let's for a second talk about that early point take for danny defeat right they got to the point very early even though they didn't cap it they had that point presence and yet they still lost the fight and i think we can definitely owe that to simp nation contesting that point hopping on and waiting to play slow here and that's exactly what they did, and that what what's you know won them the fight there is they played with that Farah spam. Mm -hmm. And a huge fire strike comes down and just takes out a real dugout. I'm looking at Zed right now on the on the green. Comes in, clicks his own hand, takes out Keepu as well. He's doing an absolutely great job. He's also trying to pick up the other McCree here on Civ Nation. He's looking for people. He hits the stun on, doesn't get killed. He returns kills here on Cash Nebula. Absolutely bonker gameplay here. And a little bit of technical crouching <laughs> as Danny DeFeo takes his point over by force. Great job. Guys. But I mean, like, going into this next fight, we see a lot of ultimates on the side of Simp Nation. They have the grab, the shadow. High Noon, Barrage, Valk, they pretty much have a six pack here of ultimates that they're going to be looking to use. An early Graviton search from Kyoka responded with a High Noon and the Sound Barrier just to keep those teammates safe, breaking the Rhine Shield. Not able to find anything for either team's High Noon, but Proxy finding the pick on the Basque, and that's going to crack the door wide open for Simulation. A massive shatter from Caprico. Exactly. Oh, and that's just unlucky, but we see again, great job here from Sip Nation, again, just taking over this kill feed, and they're just snowballing down right now. Again, great job between both teams at the moment. It is almost even as far as the progression ticker is t is is going, but we need getting defeated to take back this point if they want to push this bad boy into extra innings. I'm looking at Yuhan right now. He has a, a potentially big CC ultimate in his Earth Shatter. If he can hit that bad boy, it's going to be almost lights out, but he needs to carry it with at least somebody else to get it. To get it going. Huge Barrage comes out. Doesn't really take down anybody. Andrew gets his own pick here. Nice rest comes out on Proxy against just getting that team fight, so it's going to continue to go, but again, these kills are still falling on behalf of Simp Nation, even though you have so many ultimates coming online. Honoring, what are you thinking right now if you're getting to, you know, with a, with a couple good ultimates coming I mean, at, at this point, my whole mind would be focused on what can we do with these tank ults in the upcoming fight. Now, if you notice, Real Ducky does have that sound barrier to respond to Major Nova's grab. 
So I, I'd definitely be looking out for maybe forcing that out with the grab, then maybe shattering afterwards or vice versa. So trying to force out those sound barrier uh, so that they can use the CC tank ults in this next fight. Exactly. And Denny Defino is just trying to inch onto the point here. Huge Jacob's in here as Jack pops it. He's looking for people and he takes down two CCs here along with Cap as well. Huge Gravitar Search is popped here. And we see Zip Nation along with Keeper on the point just swinging back and forth as he's able to take down Basic, sending Basic back to spawn. And just like that, the first map goes to Zip Nation. And man, uh. Uh, an unexpected win, albeit, I I at least from me. I did not expect Simp Nation to take that first map, uh, but they played so well, and they, they just had that point control. You know, Kaz Nebula here, <laughs> absolutely killing it on that hit scan roll, getting picks every single fight, taking out, you know, the, the other DPS, making sure they stay in check. And, uh, man, I, I think his performance really says it all here, but that is going to be it for Ilios, taken 2-0 by Simp Nation. We'll be back with you folks in just a moment, so stick around for more of the action. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CGL Week 6, Simp Nation versus Danny DeFito, and this is going to be a Tier 4 matchup. So far, Simp Nation did take Ilios 2-0,
And uh, man, I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. It was it was a bit of a different outcome than I was expecting. I was expecting Danny DeFito to, you know, own it with their five and zero, you know, win loss record and and stay, you know, ahead of the game. But they are gonna be losing the first map to Simp Nation. No swaps from either team here. Octavian, what do you think Danny DeFito need to do? What's the biggest thing they need to do to bring this back going into Blizzard World? I think a big thing here, to be completely honest with you, is that Kaz Nebula guy on Sip Nation, he's having a great time just on the McCree, spamming damage, but also getting the picks, the crucial picks needed to then push points. He's also been able to use his Deadeye to stop the big, big pushes as well. So if anything, I would say, what can you guys do to shut down uh, Kaz Nebula, he's having a great game. And then also, I know something that has been going on maybe in chat as well. Uh, Danny DeFito may be working a little bit of split as well as far as in the, some of the engagements. So maybe if they can group up and maybe get a push going, if they're going to be maybe a bit more death volley, I'm going to see that. Uh, I would like to see that happening here on Blizz World. But again, at T4, these guys are so good, they can do almost anything and get away with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, I mean, I, I got to say, I, I think, uh, you know, Danny DeFito is definitely looking like a strong team, and I think that map was, you know, maybe just a warm-up map for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every team has a rough time, you know, getting uh, getting started, so just making sure they're keeping their head in the game and, and staying focused. Exactly. But I love the gusto coming in here from Simp Nation. They know that Danny DeFito, they are 5-0 right now. So they have a proof, they have something to prove right now this week, you know, to say, hey, we're the ones that took down Danny DeFito. If Simp Nation can take it all the way. So again, if they can do it, that'll be an amazing battle. Again, I think it will be uphill because Danny DeFito are 5-0. But again, we've seen a much stranger things happen. It is Overwatch, by the way. So again, anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I mean, going into these there compositions, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of these uh, early comps? Talk me through that. Ooh, I love the early comps here, especially from both teams. I love Ryan Zarya, just that broad potential. I think it's going to be a bit unique here if we do see Zen here on the Widowmaker. I know there's going to be a lot of long range damage. So for Danny DeFito to make up that distance to be Brawly, if you will, we're going to need to see Zen and also Venom Manager just get in there and get a lot of damage because again. Just a Reinhardt and Azari by themselves. That's going to be kind of an uphill battle. Definitely. You know? And uh, I, I, Venom Andrew swapping over that you know Widow roll to Zen here. Sort of an interesting pick, you know, especially with him swapping to that projectile roll. But I mean, uh, I'd love to see him pop off with the Farah. Mm, and I see Venom up here just having his way, getting the crucial blue thing here from basic, just raining down hell from the top. No picks are coming through, but we see Venom just looking for targets, and we see a nice knockout happening up here, and we see a missile landing here on the opposite Zara, on the opposite proxy here. Doesn't get killed though, so we get a second point, but we see the picks are falling on the half of Sip Nation, and we see a huge fire strike coming through here, taking down Nikki too, again, forcing a retreat, and then we see Zen goes down as well here on Riddlemaker. What are you thinking right now, honoring Any any changes as far as pathing is concerned? What you uh, I mean, Sim Nation have just had a killer defense. I think Zen swapping over to that McCree is a, is a good start here. McCree's just a bit more versatile uh, than Widow. You can sort of play him uh, at you know, a lot of different angles. Also, you have that flashbang for that utility, maybe punishing the tanks when they push up a little too far. So I like to swap over to the McCree, and I think that's a good start. Mm, and I'm looking at, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at Venom right now. He's popping this bad boy. This Barrage, he's looking for targets to kill. Doesn't really hit, uh, pan out though. As Nebula and also DiCaprio return with two huge picks and also a big rest coming here for real dogs. He's getting picked up here. Venom comes back here with this Ophic and also a nice little pick up here for Basic, picking up his other healer. But again, both teams are just vying for a spot in real estate. But we see so desperately right now, Venom is just looking for targets to kill. Not really getting a lot of utility, but he still has that Barrage on. On, on, on cooldown here, it's ready to use Honoree. Definitely, and uh, I mean, so many alts coming in from both teams here, but uh, the big combo we can look at here are the uh, the Grav combos, right? You have that Graviton Surge with uh, the Hanzo Dragon from Kaz Nebula and Kyoka, as well as the, you know, Barrage and Grav okay. combo, but a massive pick right off the bat from Kaz, and it's uh, no stranger to him. He's been getting picks like this all game, and Maybe a bit of a uh, overall there using uh, using three alts from the side of Simp Nation, but uh, got the job done for sure. Yeah, I mean, you look at that, it, it was just a deluge of damage coming through. Almost every ultimate has popped here. Now, I am going to be maybe in a, 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 right now anyways, 
Simp Nation is going to be in a very precarious situation because you have two really big CT ultimates, and then you also have Venom Andrew as well. So that barrage, when paired with one of the ultimates, it can be game, and it can be game over lights out for this first point anyway for Simp Nation. Definitely, and uh, I mean, so many ultimates like we've been talking about, you know, having that grab barrage combo, especially with the mercy damage boost, it is going to be deadly here. But the only big deal here is they have to make sure they kill those hit scan off the high ground. And a big barrage coming in with the grab combo. Venom Andrew picking up three. He is going to be taken down, but it's too much for Simp Nation as Danny DeFito takes his point finally. They have three minutes on the clock, so they were held for quite a bit of time, but so far, a good start for Danny DeFito. And I love that free piece here from Venom Andrew. Just looking for the most opportune time to come in. And wham, bam, thank you, man. <laughs> Hits them all with a missile barrage here. Again, nicely done. I like the ultimate usage as well. Not too many ultimates were expended there. We still have a huge Reinhardt ultimate from Yuhan, as well as two support ultimates online here for, for Danny DeFito. So they look like they're going to be in a pretty good spot here when they push the second engagement on Definitely. Me. And I mean, they still managed to hold on to a lot of ultimates here. Both teams coming in with both support ultimates and Proxy mm -hmm. finding a pick on Zen, and that is going to be the hit scan down, which means he's going to have free reign here. Basket is going to pop out the res, but not mm. too much that they can do as Simp Nation taking the kills here and defending very early on the second point of the <laughs> world. There we go, just a, a little bit of a technical crouch there for <laughs> Kyo here after he takes out the opposite, opposite Zarya. I think that it was Major Nova, just again, for good measure, take this teabag or crack their tactical crouching. Not, it, it's all in good fun, you know <laughs> what I mean? But again, this next push here, I am looking for something huge here from Zen. I mean, he's holding on to that dead eye. If he can get a nice little flank here and just click on heads, it's going to be really good. But he gets picked out pretty early here. As we see him trying to get the engagement, it looks like that's going to force at least a quick retreat here for getting Vito. And you see Kyo and Nebula also take out a DPS and they tank in the form of Yuhan as well. So again, nice work here from Sip Nation. They were doing an amazing job just snowballing these fights down. They're not letting Danny DeFito re-engage or, or, or get back and then group up. They're killing them as they come out, so you're getting some really good stagger picks as well, Henri. For sure, for sure. And I think Proxy has just done such a good job of playing around this anti-air gun, if you will, in the in the middle here. Just playing around that, avoiding most of the McCree's shots and being able to spam and kill Zen three fights in a row now. So absolutely incredible stuff from Proxy. Mm -hmm. But looks like the grab is going to be used very early by Kyoka. The high noon is going to be the response in the shot coming in from Caprico in the combo with Proxy. Another huge <laughs> ultimate fiesta working out for Simp Nation. But once again, they popped a lot of ultimates there. How is Danny DeFito going to respond in this next fight? I mean, right now, Danny DeFito, you have to respond with force. You can't be very kind. You can't tip toe around this bad boy. You have a huge TC ultimate. We're here with Major Nova. You have Venom, uh, Venom Andrew just went down, but he's about to pick up his barrage here. Again, they need that barrage combo to come in very desperately right about now. Because we see, just at the moment, so much damage is coming through here from Sip Nation. They have hell raining down here from Proxy, and they're using a great job of real Dougie's. All right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we, we just had a uh, quick malfunction of the capture card, but we are back. 
once again with more of the action. Uh, sorry again for that, just some technical difficulties, but we are right back. Just um, just pause the game for a minute so you guys didn't miss anything about Octave. And going into this fight, what are some ultimate predictions you're seeing from both sides here? I am looking to Venom Andrew right now. He is popping that barrage here. He needs to get a huge barrage to at least get this going. He pops barrage though. Unfortunately, he doesn't get taken out. He is the architect of his own dying though. He is gonna be at risk here from basic. He gets back up here. Huge hammer comes down here. But actually get the res. And then Proxy Eros is able to just capitalize after the huge hammer down. There's Shutter comes in from Caprio. And you see right now, Simpation is pushing back with forcefulness. Saying, get off of our boy, Danny DeFito. Oh, man, uh, incredible stuff once again from Simp Nation. Absolutely stomping out Danny DeFito's hopes and dreams here on Blizzard World. But the match isn't over yet. They were able to cap one point, that first point, and get the payload a little bit past that first choke. But, I mean, uh, not, not too much done there for Danny DeFito. So, uh, definitely a, a, a strong defense is what they're going to need here. So, what are some compositions you might be expecting from them? You know, I, I would say at the moment right now, Henri, that Zarya, I mean, I'm um, sorry, that the Farah for Slip Nation, he's putting down so much long range damage. I know that Zen was able to switch off to McCree to at least maybe help, maybe shut down Proxy, but I mean, Proxy had his way. It seemed like for almost the majority of the fight, Nobody was even contesting proxy and when you have like a Luftwaffe type person that is in the air raining down damage if you will That's uncontested that's a, it, It's a hard task to then push back and then at least make room because you're constantly taking down damage And you can kind of show you saw Wuhan shield was going down on at almost every single uh, Engagement so hey, what are you thinking on uh, I mean definitely like you were saying, you know proxy was going pretty much I wouldn't say uncontested because I'm sure Zen and uh, Venom Andrew were trying their best to, to stay in his face, but he was just getting so many picks, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're going to be running the uh, the Bastion with the, the Ash, so sort of a double hit scan roll here. Probably going to put a lot of pressure mm. on Proxy and hopefully uh, make it so he can't do much and will have to swap off of that Farmercy roll. Mm -hmm. And I love the positioning here from Danny DeVito. They have really good line of sights here, depending on where you try to engage here for Sim Nation. So again, it could be very effective. I like the positioning as well here from Nick B2, just kind of staying behind cover. So again, it could be very, very ad advantageous for Danny DeVito to, to, to take this position here if they can bunker down and, and, and essentially have their way uh, with Sim Nation. And man, this flank from uh, Proxy is very, very aggressive here. They're trying to get... Proxy is trying to get on that high ground to contest that Bastion. The Immortality is going to be popped very early by Nish here, and that's going to give Simp Nation a fantastic mm. opportunity to push up here and maybe get some damage done onto that Bastion. Mm, and nice rotation coming down here. I love where Zen is at right now. Just putting down a lot of damage through the quick choke point here. As Simp Nation is trying to get on point, we do see Keeper come up here along with the rest of the team here for Simp Nation. Nice friends coming in here for Cash Nubula. That's going to allow at least Simp Nation to work on getting another re engagement. So, again, as they have high ground anyway, Simp Nation, they are going to be having, they're going to have some really good line of sight here as they begin to drop here. But they need to watch out though. That's uh, uh, implication is popped here. So, that's a lot of damage going to watch out for. Bob comes out here, but it's kind of in a weird area out to the side here. But it does pick up Cash Nebula. So, again, right as I spoke, good job here. Bob taking out Cash Nebula along with Proxy. So, good job here from, um, from Andrew just taking down the opposite team here from Sim Nation. He's doing a great job just putting out all that damage again. What are you thinking, Henri, right now for Sim Nation? Are you looking to change pathing? Compositions, what do you uh, I mean, at this point, Sim Nation has so many ultimates coming up. They almost have that six pack of ultimates. They have everything that they need to take this this fight and this point here. So, I'm honestly, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna rely here on on the ultimate uh, overpowering uh, this side of Danny Defito because they have that barrage, they have grab, they have so many different things that they can combo here to force them off of that high ground and kill a few players on the way. Exactly. The only thing you have really to mitigate that damage is going to be that Dougie ultimate, uh, the, the Dougie lamp anyways. But a nice little hammer coming in here. Doesn't really connect, unfortunately. But again, we see both teams just going back and forth. People are in the air right now. That major's trying to drop them to the death. Doesn't happen though. But we see Nick come in here with his own picks and a huge rush here on Venom Andrew saying, get back to life. We need you right now in this fight. And again, it's 10 to Bony right now. I just see Kevin come in here, swinging back and forth, gets his own picks. And as we talked about it so quickly, it's not going down for 
he's gently here for Kenny DeVito. As we see this big hammer power from Kito just swinging back and forth for the fences as he takes out the entire team of Kenny DeVito. And man, Danny DeVito, they, they had a very good defense there. They managed to shave off uh, three, almost four minutes there of Simp Nation's time. But man, those ultimates, just like I said, came in too strong. It was basically just an ultimate fiesta there as both teams used pretty much all of the ultimates they have. Now there is a little bit of hope here, a little ray of sunshine if you will from uh, Johan with that shatter as well as Niche with that Baptiste Amplification Matrix. But Kaz Nebula finding an early pick already. Massive shatter from Johan, not able to find too much there though. But this may be the fight win for Danny DeFito. And that is something they're definitely going to need a lot exactly. of. But right as I say that, Simp Nation picking up a few picks of their own. And they may be turning this fight in their favor very quickly. Exactly. I love where Proxy is just in the back line, just prancing. And he is being the devil in the back line, if you will. But he ends up going down here to Nick V2 as he's able to get picked here. But we see with that right there. Yeah, Danny Fino is giving up a little bit of room, so right now for the battle of players who are coming down to the last point, huge hammer comes down here, and that is the deciding factor, as you see it connecting, everyone's on the ground, and Sid Nation is able to just prance that bad boy home, and they take map two here blizz world goes to simp nation man uh absolutely incredible stuff from simp nation so far they are going to be going up 2-0 into this next map which 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 uh it will be volskaya so maybe he, a chance for danny defito to bring it back but man that was uh that was an intense match danny defito had uh you know a lot of work cut out for them unfortunately they weren't able to bring it home and simp nation will be going up 2-0 after this quick break we'll be back with you guys with some more action in just a moment so stick around and we'll be right back
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to CGL Week 6, Simp Nation versus Danny DeFito. And so far, Simp Nation taking the series 2-0, definitely uh, showing up and, and bringing, the, bringing the heat to Danny DeFito, who has so far been on an undefeated streak. So Volskaya going into this next map will be, you know, match point potentially for Simp Nation. They could take it here 3-0 mm -hmm. and give Danny DeFito their first loss, which would be a, a crazy upset. Uh, probably just because so many people have come out and supported Danny DeFito, and so far their their win loss record has been pretty good. So definitely uh, an interesting series so far. Octavian, what are some thoughts going into Volskaya Industries? How can Danny DeFito bring this back? We know their defense was was pretty decent running that Bastion uh, mm -hmm. on Blizzard World. What do you think about that? Just give me your thoughts. Um, I think it was a good play to have. A Bastion on defense here with uh, Blizzard World. They, uh, Danny Fido had a lot of really great rotations, but I mean, just like you called it, when you have that many ultimates that are coming at you that are just barreling down towards your team with maybe no ultimates that can help mitigate damage, it's going to be hard to at least get any kind of sustainability. Um, for this one here in Volskaya, again, I think the tail of the tape, you have to look at uh, Kaz Nebula. He's having a great time. He's going absolute bonkers, just left and right, killing people for thrills, really. And again, I, I think um, if getting DeFito can work on a way to at least shut down uh, Kaz Nebula, I think they'll have a good chance to at least take this back. Definitely, for sure. And I, I mean, going into Volskaya, I don't really see too much of a, a composition swap for either team. I think both teams are going to stick with the, uh, the uh, you know, Ryan Zarya. Um, for the most part, um, I, I, I think that, you know, like sticking with that Ryan Zarya, there isn't really a reason to swap it unless you're running that Bastion, maybe running that, that Sig instead. Um, so yeah, I, I, I definitely think sticking with that Ryan Zarya would be smart from both teams and, and maybe running, uh, the hit scan roll. What do you think as far as DPS from both sides? Um, I know we've been seeing a lot of farm mercy lately, but just give me your thoughts as far as the DPS mm -hmm. lineup real quick. Yeah, for sure. I think on the side of Danny DeFito, Venom Andrew has been having a great game. When you, when you talk about people that can just kill left and right, Venom Andrew has been able to do that for Danny DeFito, just kind of taking down that spot as for DPS anyways, along with Zen as well. So don't label out Zen. He's done a great job. But again, the DPS duo here from Sip Nation, they've been doing a great job here between Kaz Nebula and also Proxy. I'm also going to be looking for some really, really good tank play uh, from Yuhan and also Major. We've seen some of the tank play here has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, but I would like to see maybe some block shatters here coming up because, again, when you have the potential to negate damage from an op from an opposite Reinhardt, there's no better feeling if you can stop another Reinhardt shatter. So again, I'm looking for maybe you, uh, Johan, to look into blocking some shatters. But again, also as far as the support lineup is concerned, the basic and Nick too. Again, I'm looking for them to again use their ultimates very wisely, and they have been doing that as well, Henri. So again, good job to those guys. For sure. And uh, sorry, sorry about the wait chat. I know you've you guys have been waiting that many. We just had the swap sides, which I totally forgot about. But we are going to be heading into the map with the swap sides. We're going to have Simp Nation with the red jerseys and Danny DeFito with the blue jerseys. And uh, I I'm definitely excited to see how this map pay, plays out because it's definitely a series decider here for uh, for both teams. That this is where it gets uh, it gets it gets down to the wire for sure. And I'm. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Danny DeFito running a very similar comp, uh, if not the exact same one that they ran on Blizzard World. So not not too unexpected, but definitely something that we uh, we like to see them run. I know, and I love again the rotations here and how much damage you have when you have a Zen on the um, on the on the robot character. If you want to say, oh gosh, I'm kind of losing my mind right now, if you will. But again, I, I think what it comes down to on the side of Danny DeFito, you have to work on getting good rotations in to at least get some crossfire. You have to protect that uh, that Bastion at all means necessary. And you do have some really good sustainability between Basic and also Nick2 as well. So again, if they can, if, if, if Danny DeFito can take this high ground and keep it and use the rotations to their advantage, I think they can hold this point and, 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 and prevent this from going the way of Sip Nation. Definitely. And uh, man, I mean, right off the bat, a very quick rotation from from the side of uh, Simp Nation, you know, moving to this right side, trying to contest that Bastion that Danny DeFito 
has on the high ground, and uh, it looks like they're going to be actually forcing them to retreat here back on the other side, and they're going to be playing it down here. So very interesting rotation from both teams. Exactly. It looked like uh, both teams were maybe split just a little bit with the Baptists coming down here across instead of using that little bridgeway here. And we see a nice pick coming in here from, Ven from Venom Andrew. We talked about his capability here on DPS, and he is coming through in the clutch along with Zen as well as they are sending the team back here from Zip Nation back to spawn with the kills here for Thrills. Again, good job here from Zip Nation, but better job from Danny DeFito keeping your composure and pushing back here when Zip Nation was trying to mount their offense. Definitely. And Venom Andrew having that pocket, you know, uh, especially with that pocketed Ash, you can one-shot any 200 HP hero, so definitely he was able to put in a lot of damage, get a few picks uh, for the side of Danny DeFito, and I think that's going to be, you know, uh, Simp Nation's biggest job here is they're going to be having to deal with Venom and uh, making sure they mitigate that damage as much as possible and make sure you can't get too many picks on the support lineup. Mm, and just like we talked about, I'm looking right now to Proxy as he is just looking for targets to kill, but he's pocketing his huge barrage here, and we see the entire top line here is just littered with Danny DeFito people just raining down hell and fire, and we see a great job here from Danny DeFito just taking this point back, and again, nice rotations from both teams, but especially from Danny DeFito as they are looking to clean up and, and wipe out the entire team of Simp Nation. Right now, two minutes to go on the boards, Henri. Are you looking for any changes on the side of Simp Nation? Uh, I think, uh, I I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they ran the Sim here. I think Sim would be nice, especially being able to TP, maybe to get a different angle on that Bastion and, and make the rotations just a bit smoother. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if they ran that Sim, um, but definitely a, uh, you, you know, it, no swaps from the side of Sim Nation as they're just going to be rotating under here, trying to cope with that same battle and Zen taking out Foxy as soon as he barrages. And that's going to be another tick almost for Sim Nation as the Shatter comes out. Ultimate's just pinning that Sigma away, far away. Venom Andrew finding another pick, and once again, Danny DeFito taking control of this fight. But just as I say that, a few picks for Simp Nation maybe keeping this stream alive, but it looks like they are going to be resetting here. Exactly, and you had a nice resurrect come in here in the form of uh, Venom Andrew just being picked up here from Basic saying, hey, we need your DPS, get back in the fight, buddy. So again, right now, Simp Nation, uh, again, it's coming down to almost desperation mode because you have about a minute left on the ticker, Henry. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm definitely thinking, you know, maybe using the Sigma ult, although uh, the Sigma coming back from spawn is going to be taken advantage of it, man. <laughs> he's going to be using that Sigma ult just to get back on the map, actually. And what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I I am uh, I'm speechless. That that was a uh, very interesting engage there from Major Nova using that Sigma ult just to stay on that map a bit longer, <laughs> only to fall off again. But man, Simp Nation hey. finally getting a grasp on this fight. Exactly, and I'm looking to Johan right here. He is looking for the big hammers. Doesn't really connect as he is taking off the point, though. Unluckers for him as he loses his Earth Shatter. And again, we see right now, Sip Nation is just desperately trying to claw back. And they want this point here to extend their timing to go on to second point. And that is pop here from Proxy. He's looking for people to kill. He's desperately looking for people disabled to get a quick pick here on Nick B2. As he takes out a healer along with an Amandru. So we get nicely done here from Proxy as he gets the needed targets to extend this push out. Definitely. But, I mean, not a lot of ultimates for the side of Danny DeFito here. They do have that, you know, Bastion ult if they need it, but that doesn't usually do a lot. Zen did get a pick onto the fire last time, so we'll see what he can do with that tank mode here coming into this fight. But shield's being broken very early by Zen, and that's going to force quite of an interesting rotation as Kaz finds a pick onto Venom, and that is going to be absolutely huge. Cracking the door open for Danny DeFito and a massive shatter from Johan. <laughs> Picking so many members up and slamming them on the ground. Incredible. It looks like it just at that last point when you thought the door was being cracked, Audrey. Again, you just saw again a little bit of a, a fall here at the crack again. We need, at least for the time being, to have, uh, again, Simp Nation get back on the point here. Again, Johan switched over to the Winston just to get maybe a, a bit quicker spawn. And again, kills are just coming left and right. I love the positioning here from, uh, from Nebula. High ground, just looking for targets to kill. And he's just looking back and forth here. Huge. Sent out a huge fire strike here, uh, dragon strike rather, sorry, is able to pick up Denny here, 
So again, nicely done here for Zep Nation, and they are going to begin the kills needed to at least get the next checkpoints here. Desperation mode here for Danny DeVito, as they are trying to get back to the point. Huge ultimate comes in here, and then drop pitch over to the death. Basically goes back to spawn, unfortunately, along with Nick too. So again, it's a bare knuckle brawl back and forth here, as the battle for this guy is raging on here, and we see the spines are just coming back. Desperation spawns, if you will, as that ticker is, is inching so closer here to egging swap down here for Swift Nation. Definitely, and man, these picks are just coming in too strong for Simp Nation, but Danny DeVito doing a fantastic job of contesting this point. You know, swapping over to that Doomfist and that Lucian Basque is just not going to be killable here. He's going to keep stalling that point, and man, this Tide might be switching in the favor of Danny DeVito. I mean, this is absolutely clinical right now. People want to at least take notes here as far as how to stall a point. Look at Danny DeVito. They've done an amazing stellar job here. Just pushing back with force, saying, we're not going to give up this point here. You And they're and they just shaving off so much time here from Simp Nation. Again, Simp Nation, they need you to get back out to at least get a regroup because, again, right now you have very little ultimates, absolutely none, really. And when you have 40 seconds, what's going to happen now, Henri? Uh, I mean, definitely not a lot of ultimates on the board, although Simp Nation does have that sound barrier, and that is going to be crucial, especially, you know, playing into that Dragon Blade that Zen's farming here. So far, like we've been saying, Simp Nation having a tough time capping this point, especially with the stall from Danny DeFito, and they've been doing such a good job of swapping over to a different composition and making sure they don't allow too many ticks here. Zen is going to be popping that, that Dragon Blade, finding Mokel in the background. And man, Caprico just using his minds, clearing out the point as best as he can, but the picks still coming in for the side of Danny DeFito, and that might put them still in the race here. But Simp Nation going to be capping with a few seconds remaining, although there is the contest from the Doomfist, and 1.9 seconds on the clock for Simp Nation. Just barely some time, which will force out the, uh, you know, the if Simp Nation is not able to defend and Danny DeFito is able to cap both points with time, that will guarantee Simp Nation a minute here um, for the attack. But, man... Uh, what do you think Simp Nation really needs to do to defend this? Well, I know their attack was a bit rough. Uh, they got a lot of time shaved off with that stall from Danny DeFito. What do they need to do to maybe mirror that or play it a bit better than Danny DeFito did? I don't think I've seen any Bastion gameplay come out yet for Simp Nation. I'm still kind of trying to look back through the logs here to see if there has been any Bastion gameplay anyways from Simp Nation. I don't believe there has been. Uh, however, the DPS lineup with what they've been rolling with between Kaz and also Proxy, between the Fair and the Kree, they've been doing really, really well. And just like we kind of talked about it, Honoring, if we can get some good rotations and to help mitigate any damage, if you will, coming through from Danny DeFito, and if Simp Nation can maintain this high ground, I think they they can have they have a good chance at least taking this point. For sure. What are you thinking, Ani? Uh, I I mean I like this pick, you know, on the Sombra from Proxy. I think it'll definitely deny um, a lot of tank utility, especially from Johan, who's been popping off on that Reinhardt, by the way. So definitely keeping him hacked as much as possible, mm -hmm. keeping those health packs, you know, secured for them. It's going to allow them to maybe retreat back in that corner if they need to um, and have that health pack on a, on a shorter cooldown. But so far, I, I think the, you know, proxy on that Sombra, it's a very good choice here for uh, Danny DeFito, or for Simp Nation, excuse me. Ooh, and I... I uh, love the aggression coming in here from Danny DeVito. Just right off the bat, they are using that speed boost to get in there, and they are trying to get some kind of point presence, which they are doing very, very nicely here. This forcing a huge retreat from Simp Nation, and you see Johan just coming back and forth here, jockeying for position as they're just looking at, at getting the picks needed to get on point, and he does exactly that as he's able to take down the opposite Reinhardt along with Venom Andrew. And again, these, these picks here coming from Danny DeVito are coming so quickly, but not gently, as we see Basic gets a quick bunch here to Proxy, sending him back to spawn so at the time being again honoring that was kind of a steamroll if you will here uh, what are you changing up if you are changing anything here for simp nation uh, i wouldn't be surprised if they ran uh you know a may here and may is pretty common and i think she has a uh, you can get a lot of value from may for not a lot of work you know just putting up that wall isolating those tanks and uh being able to push up on that so i wouldn't be surprised if they ran the may here there is going to be a very early amplification makes matrix from fast or excuse me from niche but Johan finding the picks and a massive shatter once again. This man is unstoppable <laughs> with those shatters. And man, that's going to be a lot of time on the board for Danny DeVito. 
I think that might be right there. I mean, you see a couple people here on the support lineups here from uh, from Zip Nation. They get picked up here anyways from Real Dougie Death. And it's Desperation Hour as we see Zip Nation desperately trying to get out to the point here. Hugh Chambers comes out here, and that forces the entire team of Zip Nation off the point. Again, I love the aggression here from Johan. Again, it looks like Danny DeFito is able to just turn up the heat, if you will, and they are taking it to Zip Nation. And again, they cap that bad boy with 6 minutes and 23 seconds here. What are you thinking right now if you're Zip Nation? Uh, I... That time bank scares me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Having over six times the time bank of your opponent, that has got to put you in a comfortable position for Danny DeFito. Although they still could lose, you know, the, you know, Simp Nation could come back with the one minute. I think at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Simp Nation, once they're on defense, runs that Bastion composition, you know, maybe uh, lowering themselves to that double shield Bastion role. Um, but Danny DeFito. Looks like they're going to be running the exact mirror composition that they were running before on defense. And it seemed to work out pretty well for them. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if they popped off here with Zen on that Bastion and Venom Andrew on that Ash. Exactly. And I mean, getting the Fido has been doing a great job again, just protecting that Bastion. I think for the first point when Simp Nation was coming in, it maybe looked a bit precarious because you had the team split when they were looking into rotation. But everything looked to go pretty well when they went to defend the Mega Health Pack here just to the left of the point of uh, first point in Volskaya. So again, they were able to bring it back and they were able to essentially defend their territory. So again, I'm looking to getting the Fido to do exactly the same thing. Good rotations, but also again, make sure they take the high ground and just rain down damage from above for sure and uh i mean i i wouldn't i i like the i like the sim pick here i like that proxies on sim this is what i was saying earlier sim allows for you to take some different rotations get some different angles on that bastion um that you wouldn't be able to normally and it, it minimizes that shield damage that simp nation is going to be taking here on the attack but uh i mean not a lot of uh rotations <laughs> afterwards they're sort of they have to move pretty slowly under and venom andrew finding a pick on caprico very early and that might be a, a, a reset here from Simp Nation. I mean, you have to think of it being a hard reset, and you, you only have 18 seconds. I'm looking at Kaz Nebula down here. He is in the back line, along with the other DPS here, uh, Proxy, just trying to at least get some kind of damage and chaos going to force a rotation here to ground here to Danny DeFito. It looks like it's not going to happen, as Danny DeFito is doing a great job here, just being very, very disciplined. And again, Ven Venom is just coming through here with the picks that like we talked about. He's being a contestant now, just up in the high ground, just raining down so much damage. And we see Kent Nebula come up here as well. Just trying to get his picks here. It doesn't work out though. As we see, picks are going back and forth here. But it just right now, at least for the time being, again, it's going back and forth. But again, Andrew Venom is doing a great job just poking out targets and just clicking heads and sending them back to spawn. Again, overtime is deleted. And man. Now it's time to defend and you get to defend with all your life. Huh, I mean, uh, incredible stuff from Venom, Andrew. Once again, he's. His Ash is so dominant, especially with that Mercy Pocket. He's been able to pop off time and time again on Volsky, getting so many picks for his team. And even without that bunker composition, I think I think they would do well. I think just keeping Venom Andrew with that Ash, even even on offense here. Um, although there isn't a lot they could do to mess this up, they do have six and a half minutes to just get one tick on the point. And uh, yeah, I I I don't see a lot of ways out for Simp Nation here. Yeah, you're exactly right, Henri. I mean, even if you get you know six min you know six minutes worth of drive fights, I mean, you can build up your ultimates, you know, within a minute or two. And at that point, you just engage, and with the the loser damage, if you will, it could be the the turning factor to take over that point here with Danny DeFito. So again, they have a lot of really good characters in place here, between Reinhardt, sorry, but also with the um, with the Dragon Strike again, that could be absolutely massive and and being paired with the Graviton Surge and just killing the entire team of Simp Nation all in one go. For sure. And I, like you were saying, it really just comes down to how you hold your ultimates here, especially when you have such a big time bank like this. And frankly, nothing to lose here. The worst they can do is draw this map out. So they've already done what they came here to do on Volskaya. Um, you know, get that that draw or that, or that win here. They have six minutes to do so, so it's just about... Keeping those dry fights, like you were saying, building up those ultimates and using them all at the end when they need them. 
Mm. And I love Zen down here in the back line with Hanzo. Just raining down hell from above. He gets a quick pick here on Proxy US here. And the Reds is going to come out here. But again, Zen is doing a great job. Just firing arrows there. Barely towards their targets right now. And just look how much damage he's doing. Just bring up a lot of space for his tanks to work. He's looking for targets to get it back and forth. As it is a bare knuckle brawl. The first pick does come on behalf of Braxy. Sending Major Nova back to spawn. But the time being, Getty if you know, is up on the kill feed. I'm sorry, Simp Nation is, but again, that's going to change here pretty quickly because you do have a long spawn here for Simp Nation. But again, nice pick coming in here for Bass as he takes out your main tank, and it is desperation out right now, especially if you are down a main tank on her. Definitely, and I, I think it was a bit of an awkward, you know, uh, rotation there from Danny DeFito. Despite having all those picks, they rotated in the back and they were pretty split. They had Bask and Johan in the back line with a few of their teammates. You know, staggered around, so definitely an awkward push from them, although they were able to farm up a lot of ultimate percentage in that fight. Zen does have his dragon, Major Nova, on his way to that Graviton Surge, and that is pretty much all they need for the next fight, is just having that combo, because Real Dougie does not have a sound barrier to defend against that Graviton. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And just to be talking about it, early pick coming in here from Andrew. Just picking out proxy. Did I just pick your people on the ground here? And he just does. Just destroys his ultimate here. But unfortunately, with the dead eye, Kaz is not able to pick up anybody, even though they were on the ground waiting for the pickings here. And we see, at least for the time being, Danny Defino's doing a great job. Just on the point here. Just getting their presence down. Huge Graviton comes out here, picking up Ask in the, in, the, in the mix of everything here. And just like that, it looks like Danny Defino takes over that point here on Volskaya. And again, they're going to claw this bad boy back because they want the bushes to extra inning. For sure. And, uh, I mean, incredible stuff from Danny DeFito. They were able to bring it back and get such a large time bank there. Uh, so definitely good stuff from them. That is going to about wrap up Volskaya. And we are going to be going into a quick intermission, but we'll be right back with some more action on Dorado. As Danny DeFito, they're still down in this series, but they might be bringing it back. We'll be right back with you in just a moment, folks.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to CGL Week 6, Simp Nation versus Danny DeFito. And so far, Simp Nation was able to take Ilios and Blizzard World. Unfortunately, they weren't able to cap out the series with Full Sky. It was taken by Danny DeFito, which means Danny DeFito, they're still in it. They're still able to, to bring it back here, but they are going to have to take Dorado, and they're going to have to take our last map, which is going to be, uh, I believe it's uh, Nepal. Yeah, it's it's Nepal. Um, so okay. they're going to have to take every map going into Dorado as well as the map afterwards. So uh, a lot on the plate for Danny DeFito. Um, so far, Octavian, I think the definitely the Ash, the damage boosted Ash on Venom Andrew has been helping out Danny mm -hmm. DeFito a lot. Do you think they're going to continue with that? Or how do you think some compositions are going to swap up here on Dorado? I mean, you have to. I would say Danny DeFito, they've been playing this Protect the Bastion composition very, very well. On a map such as Dorado, I would I would not be surprised if I saw maybe another Protect the Bastion strat where you have maybe Zen on Bastion and then Andrew maybe offering some kind of counter gameplay or, or counter crossfire on the Ash with a pocketed uh, you know, Mercy from Basic or Nick Two, whoever wants to take up that spot. So I would, I would, I would venture to say that could be the composition coming from Dan, for coming from Danny DeFito. At least for Sip Nation, they need to find a way to break through that protect the Bastion strat. Again, Danny DeFito has been absolutely amazing and running that strat. So for a Sip Nation to break through and to at least get a foothold, they need to work on countering that kind of strategy because again Danny DeFeo is doing a great job using that uh that, that kind of damage definitely and uh I mean so far I wouldn't expect too much of a compositional change from either team here um like we've been talking about Venom Andrew's been popping off with that Ash absolutely killing it and Zen mm -hmm. you know playing that Hanzo or that Bastion or whatever the team needs uh I think the double shield here uh from from Danny DeFeo early on is gonna is gonna show us something about their composition. I think they might be running the Bastion strat again. I think they might be putting Zen back on that Bastion because they have the Baptiste, they have the Mercy, and the Double Shield. So I wouldn't be surprised <coughs> if they ran that. Yeah, and they've done a great job, again, protecting that Bastion. Again, a lot of teams, they try to run this type of, top of, uh, this type of composition with a Bastion, and it fails. But there is a lot of team intricacies if you want to call it that way to protect that bastion and make sure that he's getting all the resources needed to have him be that focal point and that spearhead of damage so again they're doing a great job definitely and i i like this uh this pharmacy pick from proxy they don't you know other than the bastion they don't really have a lot to contest the farah maybe you know maybe the baptiste uh, has a voice in that uh, but Proxy, so far, he's able to play around the geometry of the map and get a lot of those picks just by spamming those rockets. So I wouldn't be surprised if he picks up a few kills pretty early on uh, for Simp Nation. Mm -hmm. And again, great job here. We're just seeing this bad boy is on skates going back and just essentially going into the face of Simp Nation. Just like we talked about, Simp Nation needs to work on stopping this payload because it is just rolling, baby. But again, nice picks come in here as we do see Proxy take out Zen. And that, those could be the picks needed here to at least stop that first progression because Proxy came up here just with his huge missiles sending people back to spawn. And again, he's getting three pieces back and forth along with Yo as well. So again, nicely done here from Simp Nation, stopping that point, and that could be all you need as Simp Nation to stop that momentum. For sure, and uh, Capico, or Caprico, excuse me, uh, going in, already has that Shatter farmed up, so he's been definitely doing a great job getting that Shatter very quickly into the fight, staying aggressive with that run, especially with those opening picks from Proxy that we love to see him get. But Zen, swapping over to that R Widow, uh, a role we haven't seen him play so far yet in the map. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be a good pick here because you do have a lot of like, a lot of range damage here from Venom, but if he can start clicking heads, which he is right now, great pick here on Capo coming through here. But again, nice picks here. Return anyway for Sip Nation as we see huge picks coming through from Proxy and also Kyo. But again, we do see at least a dead come back. Doesn't really pick up anybody. And again, it's very fortunate here uh, for Danny DeVito as that dead eye was, it was essentially nullified. Uh, from Sip Nation. So again, nicely done here from Danny DeFito. It looks like they do need to start capitalizing, but again, you have Johan out here by himself, just kind of 1v1-ing this McCree. Doesn't work out. Huge hammer comes down here as Capo is taking essentially the entire team of Danny DeFito on by himself with a huge hammer swings through and is able to get a quick piece here, forcing a retreat here from Danny DeFito. So right now with a minute left here, about a minute and 50 seconds, Henri, what are you thinking on side of on the side of Danny? Well, I, you know, we'll we'll get to that in a moment. One thing I would like to point out: uh, Kaz Nebula contested the Rhine and the Mercy 
from Danny DeFito in the back line that whole fight and actually allowed Simp Nation to regroup on point. So shout out to him. But I definitely think going into this <laughs> next fight, a lot of ultimates for Simp Nation and they're looking pretty comfortable here. Proxy finding another pick. Even with that double hit scan, he is finding kills left and right over and over and over again. And man, uh, he is such an incredible player. I love watching him play Farah. Mm -hmm. A nice fire strike does go through the amplification matrix. Doesn't hit anybody here from Johan. But yeah, I'm looking for a huge ultimate to come here from Johan. The unfortunate gets picked here as the entire team goes back to spawn here. And we just see the Sip Nation gangbusters, man. They're just seeing the blizzard back in town. We're putting out that damage. But again, I'm looking to Johan right now with that huge hammer down, Earth Shatter. If he connects, there could be a way that they break through this, this stone wall defense of Simp Nation. For sure. And, uh, I mean, it's definitely going to be all on Johan here, like you were saying, with that Shatter. Um, he's going to have to try and get past that shield, you know, get a big slam. And it looks like he does. He picks up two kills with that fire strike, and that is absolutely massive. Immortality pop just for good measure here, and it looks like that may be the opening that Danny DeFito needs. Proxy finding two picks on that far, though, maybe keeping Simp Nation still in the race here as the res goes onto Caprico. And man, they have to start contesting this cart now and stay alive long enough for the rest of the Simp Nation to get back. Exactly, and I love Nick down here just with this Baptiste rifle, just trying to get some desperate kills here as he is putting out a lot of damage. Dead Eye does come out here and caught, is caught in the Gravitas Surge. Pop said, I doesn't really pick anybody. So both teams are just back and forth again. A bare knuckle brawl. We do see Cap out here trying to get in here, getting the kills needed. Doesn't really happen, but we do see him then go down here to opposite Reinhardt from Wuhan. So again, Kenny DeFeo is doing a great job here, just mitigating damage, staying behind his payload, but also making their presence known. We see Gen come up here with a huge pick on Cast Nebula, and that is going to be the pick needed here to knock back and get this first checkpoint nicely done Danny DeFito definitely and uh I mean even getting held all that time they were able to bring it back at the end but that's a lot of time shaved off for Danny DeFito from Simp Nation so they're definitely looking like they're in a good spot if they can test Van Venom on this uh high ground he has that Widow able to get a pick on that Mercy and Proxy does not have a pocket anymore which means he is going to go down to Zen and Man, keeping that farmer C alive is definitely so important, and that's how Sim Nation have been getting so many picks. Is their far for the most part hasn't gone down uh, very often in those fights. He's been able to farm up that barrage, and man, Danny DeFito being able to push Sim Nation back into a corner here very valuable. Mm -hmm. And I love the positioning here again from Zen. He has his Dragon Strike on online here, and it looks like we do have a uh, you have people in that position here as he pins in. He's just by himself, not really a lot of resources, but he is getting again a lot of healing coming in here from the from his healers though. So again, nicely done here from Kipo. It looks like for the time being, he was going to be out of position and may have been and may have been uh, punished for it, but he does not get punished. So again, nicely done here from Danny DeFito. Definitely, and uh, keeping Venom Andrew on that high ground, he's been able to pop Proxy a few more times, and he's going to be in the back line, contested by Kaz Nebula himself, and Kaz Nebula is going to find that first pick that Simp Nation needs to, to stay in the race. But the Dragon with the grab combo comes in a little too strong, as the Immortality isn't enough to save Simp Nation. They have to reset once again. And I love that beat drop here from... Um, my beat was basic, just at the most opportune time, breaks down here. Huge hammer just come down here, but again, it's just him by himself. A return hammer here from Yuhan, getting people on the ground. Did I just pop here? But again, they are training picks back and forth. Huge rest comes back here, setting up uh, yeah, Kipro here on Sip Nation. Yeah, they're doing a great job here, just getting the kills needed. At least K uh, cast Nebula anyways. Again, just using his McCree Dead Eye, or rather just clicking heads rather, just sending people back to spawn. Right now, 20 seconds on her. Are you in desperation mode if you're getting the uh, Definitely. I'd be swapping to stall as much as possible. Anything to get back to the point uh, as quick as they can. They only have 10 seconds to get there. I think they are going to be able to touch, but they're going to be coming in very staggered here. They aren't even going to have the Baptiste for this first fight. And Proxy finding the first crucial pick in this team fight. They don't have a lot of ultimates to work with, and they're going to have to make it work. Both him or her, uh, excuse me, amplification matrix is going down right in front of each other. Not able to amplify too much damage, though, as Proxy in the back line once again with that pharmacy. Finding a few picks, and now it's just janitorial work for the side of Simp Nation as they hold very comfortably just before that second point. Incredible stuff from Simp Nation so far, and it's looking like uh you know a bit like blizzard world i'm not gonna lie it's it's looking like danny defeat is going to be in a rough position once again 
Possibly, but we know that Danny DeFito, again, they're a, an amazing team. They are 5-0 and for a reason. So, again, they have the gusto and they have the ability to, to stand their point here and to push back on a very, very strong Simp Nation team. Now, again, Simp Nation, they have pulled out all the stops, if you will, and they've done a great job today just pushing it and taking it to uh, Danny DeFito. Again, they're 5-0, and but, again, Simp Nation has done a stellar job just using their ultimates, but also... Again, this character called Kaz Nebula, along with Proxy, again, they've done a great job, but let's not take out, again, what the healers have been doing. I mean, great usage of healing here from Real Dougie, but also Mocha as well, because, again, Mocha is always on somebody as a mercy, just giving either a blue beam or also a yellow beam to kind of help <laughs> keep the sustainability. So, again, great job here from the healers. I mean, uh, I'm going to be honest, that's the first time I've ever heard Mercy's healing uh, referred to as yellow beam. Uh, I'll make sure to use that uh, upcoming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think you're definitely right. It is going to be you know down to how each mercy pocket plays out here. Proxy has been uh, killing it on the fire so far, even playing into that double hit scan. He mm -hmm. still manages to find so much value, just playing around the geometry of the map, playing around those corners, spamming in and getting those damage and farming up those barrages. And uh, I mean, I don't expect anything different from him into this uh, next fight. Ooh, and I love this flanking pattern here from Proxy. Just kind of coming around here, Bridge, waiting for that payload to come through. And this, I'm seeing him up here, again, just raining down hell and fire from a, from really good angles like you were talking about, Honor. He's using a lot of cover to his advantage, forcing a nice little retreat here from Danny DeFito. So it's opening up a lot of space here for Sip Nation to work. And essentially, when you have all this damage coming through and maybe not being contested, maybe that well, I can use, you allow room for your tanks to at least push that bad boy. So again, nicely done here from Proxy. He's up there getting his damage coming down. Again, nicely done. Definitely, and I, I like Sim Nation forcing that rotation out from Danny DeFito. They have to move to the back, and they've already lost Bask on that Mercy, and it's Kaz Nebula and Kyoka cleaning up those kills for Sim Nation, and it looks like an early loss here for Danny DeFito. They weren't able to hold on that much, forcing that rotation out. I like the aggression from Caprico, you know, staying up in Danny DeFito's face and making them go all the way to their back line. And man, five minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. What's it looking like for Danny DeFito? What do they need to do here? I mean, they need to at least get maybe a, maybe a bit better rotations because again, they need to stay grouped up. I'm worried because you have a lot of really good ultimates coming online here. For Simp Nation, you have a huge hammer of Earth Shatter coming here from Kipu, and he's been able to hit those shatters pretty well, along with the huge Jedi, and Cass has been absolutely massive here when we see him using that McCree to just lethal effect here. But again, nice fix here coming in here, we're seeing Danny Pito trying to push back, and I see that they are just desperately trying to claw back, as there is a lot of time here for Simp Nation to push this bad boy, and at least for this first fight, Henri, they're going to push back on Simp Nation, sending them back to spawn, and, and Simp Nation needs to get a better regroup here, because they are kind of feeding at the moment. <laughs> I mean, that, that's one way to put it. You definitely need to uh, highlight the ultimates coming into this next fight, though. I think Simp Nation is in a much better basket, if mm -hmm. you will. They have that, you know, Graviton Barrage combo that they love to use so much. Proxy just gets in that back line and absolutely rains down so much damage. And it looks like a Shatter going to be coming out very early from Capricow. Able to find one as Kaz Nebula, <laughs> his buddy, finds a pick of his own. And man, picks are coming in very strong for Simp Nation. They just have to make sure they get these stagger kills and keep Danny DeFito in spawn as long as possible so they can cap this map out. And this could be the series decider here. This is coming down to the wire. This last mm -hmm. fight is going to determine Danny DeFito's history and future of this match. Exactly, and you're just looking at Proxy right now, holding on to that to that barrage here, along with Cash too. Huge, uh, huge Gavitron turn just come out here, and a huge barrage just comes out here, doesn't really connect with anybody, unfortunately. And Danny DeFito looks like they're on the back end of that receiving barrage here, and we see Capra come in here, just again, it is cleanup for janitorial work as you put it, Honoree. It looks like Sip Nation is just going to take these kills back here, and we do have at least a, a long spawn here for Danny DeFito. Desperation time, they're off the point, oh. C9. That's all sure. Oh, 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 you hate to see it. Danny DeFito, they still had some people there. They, it looked like they might have brought the fight back, but unfortunately, they do step off the point and allow Simp Nation to take this series 3-1. A very dominant performance from them. They had a lot of time to work with there at the end. Uh, very well done from them. And I think you can owe a lot of that to Proxy and Kaz Nebula popping off on their DPS. Um, and yeah, just insane stuff from them once again.
Uh, but that is going to wrap mm -hmm. up the match here, and uh, we are going to be saying goodbye to all you lovely folks out there as Simp Nation does take the series 3-1. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. Peace out.